New at noon today, a new warning for everyone to get prepared for hurricanes and other storms. The Hurricane Awareness Tour, it is in North Kingstown with hurricane specialists cluing in vulnerable communities. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka is with the Hurricane Awareness Tour today ahead of a very special presentation we're bringing you. It'll be on WPRI.com at 1 p.m. today. Tony joins us live this noontime. Hi, Brian. This is very timely. The hurricane season is less than a month away. This is the hurricane awareness tour. It's going up and down the east coast of multiple cities, and we're lucky enough to have the first stop being right here in southern New England at Quanta State Airport. The best scientists and forecasters in the world when it comes to hurricanes it, right here. Uh, folks from the National Hurricane Center, the National Weather Service, uh, FEMA, Red Cross, Rhode Island Emergency Management, and they've brought some hardware with them to Hurricane Hunter aircraft are here. I mean, these are flying laboratories. They fly into hurricanes, into the heart of the storm, taking vital information. When you see us on our weathercast talk about the latest from such a storm out over the ocean, this is where the data is coming from. We even have the director of the National Hurricane Center uh, here, Ken Graham, and he tells us why this educational tour is so important. You meet the people that's at the Hurricane Center uh, doing the forecast for the hurricane. You know, to meet the people behind the scenes, to come out here and talk about preparedness, it, it's the best way to learn. It's the best way to be prepared for hurricane season. So this is very educational. It is open to the public starting between 2 and 5 o'clock this afternoon. Admission is free. You actually get to board these planes and look inside into the cockpit, into the instruments that are used uh, to measure hurricanes. You get to talk to the forecasters and the scientists. Uh, Peter Gaynor from FEMA is here. So a lot of big names here at Quonset Airport as far as getting uh, southern New England and really the entire East Coast ready for this, up uh, this upcoming hurricane season, Brian. All right, Tony, live for us this noontime. We'll check back in with him this half hour. Thanks so much. Of course, join us for our special Hurricane Watch, The Path to Preparedness. It airs exclusively online today, live from Quonset. That's 1 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. at WPRI.com. Now as our Pinpoint Weather 12 team coverage continues, we're going to bring in our meteorologist, Michelle Muscatello, and also live at Quonset Point, Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka, ahead of a Hurricane Awareness Special. Good afternoon. Well, hey there, Brian. You know, uh, what we are going to be talking about, what Tony's seen out there today, is all about preparedness, Tony. And as you and I mentioned, every season it only takes one storm. You're right, Michelle, and that's pretty much the theme that the uh, the director from the National Hurricane Center, uh, Ken Graham, was echoing, how you want to be uh, proactive rather than reactive, because even a quiet season can be impactful. A good example, you know, Hurricane Barb, our last uh, hurricane back in 1991 was a, a relatively quiet season, and even more importantly, back in 92, Hurricane Andrew, one of the worst hurricanes to strike the continental U.S., occurring during a season where there weren't many uh, hurricanes. So you want to know your evacuation route. You want to know if you live in a flood prone area? Do you have river flooding on your property and things like that? So be ready regardless, uh, Michelle, of what the season is going to be like. And Tony, the other uh, thing to point out are those massive airplanes behind you, the C-130s. I had mentioned to you that when I was uh, working and living in Charleston, that those are based out of that uh, Air Force base there. And so I was very familiar with them flying. They're like mobile buses. And for Hurricane Hunter aircraft, they are a mobile laboratory. Oh, they're so vital. Uh, myself and TJ were able to uh, be in the cockpit of the one behind me. And you're right, it is a, a laboratory that flies up in the sky. They fly directly into the hurricane. They take vital information. So when you see our weather team on the air during hurricane season tracking a storm and we say, here's the latest uh, position, here's the latest on the on the strength or the, or the track of the storm and where it's moving, it comes from this aircraft. It goes immediately into our weather center, the Pinpoint Weather Center, and it goes to your TV set at home. So uh, the information from these planes, these Hurricane Hunter planes, these pilots and scientists, uh, very vital as far as getting the word out, getting that information into computer models, and hopefully making good predictions as far as track and intensity, Michelle. Well, thanks, Tony. I know we'll be hearing much more from you as the afternoon goes on.